Hello, and welcome back to OJS for Editors. In this lesson, we'll see how the editor, Chinadu, publishes an issue once all of the submissions have been reviewed and edited. Starting on the editor homepage, Chinadu goes to Future Issues in the Issue section. Recall from Module 5, Creating a New Issue, that the editor will often create several issues in advance, but in our case there is only one. The default order of the sections, articles, and book reviews is set by the journal manager. If Chinadu wants this default order changed, he needs to communicate with the journal manager, who will make the changes to the setup of the journal. However, he is free to use the arrows beside the section title to rearrange them for this issue. There's also a reset to default link for restoring the sections to the original order. By default, articles appear in each section in the order they were scheduled for publication by the section editor. Shinadu can move the articles around using the arrows next to the articles, say if he wants them in alphabetical order or from general to specific. The editor typically also has the authority to veto the publication of an article. If he wants to remove an article from the issue, he uses the Remove checkbox. Removing the article will send it back to the editing stage awaiting scheduling. From there, the editor can either reschedule the submission for publication in another issue, or send it to the archive if it will not be published. This is an important feature. When removing an article from an issue, it's much better to do this before publication than afterward, whenever possible. After he's made any changes to the table of contents, it's important that Chinadu clicks Save so that the changes are applied to the issue. At this stage, Chinadu can also revisit the issue data, which we discussed in Module 5, using the link along the top. Here he can make last-minute changes to things like the issue title or cover image. There is also a link along the top for previewing the issue. This is an important feature because it allows Chinadu to check, for example, that a cover image is formatted correctly and that the galleys appear correctly with the correct file format label. From here, Chinadu goes back to the user homepage and navigates back to the issue. If he's satisfied with the table of contents and appearance of the issue, he clicks Publish Issue, and the next issue of the African Journal of Scholarly Communication is released to the world. The last thing he'll want to do is send out a notification to readers that a new issue has been published. This can be done from the editor homepage in the issues section. The editor has a few choices of whom to notify. All users associated with the journal, all readers, or all published authors. Chinadu can choose to include the issue's table of contents in the email, And after making any desired changes to the email, he simply clicks Send. Thanks, Joe. After going through all of the steps from submission to publication, this last one seemed easy. I hope you found this video helpful for your work with your journal. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Il est le lobe de la